Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Zidi. Today, I'm making a video here in my own neighborhood here in Phuket, Thailand, near these houses, because I'm going to talk about Bitcoin. I'm going to talk about SVB, of course, the bank that collapsed. I'm going to talk about houses, and that's why I'm walking around these houses, so I get a little bit more inspiration from these huge kick-ass houses over here, guys. Now, first thing, Bitcoin, every little thing is going to be all right. Yes, we are above 20K again, so don't worry about that. The thing that you need to worry about is the fundamentals of Bitcoin. Bitcoin started all the way back 2009, um, when there was a huge bailout of the banks. The banks made a shit show, they had a shit load of debts, and then the government did a bill out, and that's how they saved the banks. Now, from that moment, Bitcoin was created. That's why also in the first block of Bitcoin, in the first transaction, the text, the bailout of the banks is inscripted in there, because it was the start of the revolution against that monetary system. Now, today we see, again, that some banks are collapsing. Today we have SVB. Silicon Valley Bank and with that Silicon Valley Bank a lot of crypto companies now have issues like Circle and by that USDC now that is for me the biggest issue all those crypto companies that refer to themselves as a crypto company are no crypto companies because they are depending on the banks again they don't remember why this whole industry has started because of the bailout of those banks and because they didn't grow as fast as they needed, they didn't have enough capital to grow as fast as they needed, they again went back to the banks and to ask them for loans and even deposit funds at those banks. Now, the risk if you deposit funds at the banks is that the bank goes bankrupt, like SVB, <laughs> and then you lose all your uh, money. And that is not only the risk for those companies, but also for sadly a shitload of normal people that did lose a lot of fiat now as well. I self already experienced this a uh, long term ago in the Netherlands. There was a bank called DSB. Not SVB, but DSB. Also bankrupt. Everybody was insured for 100k. Now, at this one, SVB, everyone insured for 250k if they have an insurance. Now, all that aside, for me, those crypto companies referring to themselves as a crypto company, are they really crypto companies? Are they just not just plain companies that do a little bit crypto but want to make or want to save all their profits into a bank account again and by that now have huge issues and by that now all the crypto people and the community also have huge issues why the fuck are all these companies pretending to be crypto companies still collaborating with the banking system that was being disrupted in first because they didn't work in the correct way the banks created all those crises every time and again and again and again the banks and the central banks like the fed they all created those crises because of printing too much money and that is why bitcoin started to exist and now these bitcoin companies are again are leaning back on these banks that's not the right way there's a huge list of crypto companies that had ties to svb and not sbf all these three letter things are really bad. DSB, SBF, SVP. Never invest in one of those. <laughs> but we have BlockFi, we have Circle, we have Yuga Labs from the apes. Yes, the apes, revolution, the NFT. Fuck that. What revolution? You're fucking huddling your fucking currency on a bank. That has nothing to do with Bitcoin or cryptocurrency or whatever you think it should be. Then we have Pantera Capital, we have Avalanche, even Avalanche holding a small part of their capital on a bank. I do think I understand why they are doing it. We'll talk about that later. But for me, it is a no-go. You are a crypto company. We have the crypto revolution. We need to support that revolution full-time. Hold your capital in USDT or USDC or whatever other stablecoin there is aside of the banking system. And we have Proof, we have Nova Labs, we have even Coinbase. I think Coinbase didn't have any assets there, but again, I think they were having them as an investor or something like that. So yeah, even those huge crypto companies, crypto companies are tied to the banking system again. And yes, sadly, these banks, now and then they fall. This is the second biggest bank of the, of the United States. They just broke down. And with that, they take with them a shitload of people like the banks also did in 2008 and 2009. And by that, even maybe creating a huge crisis with double numbers of unemployment and all that stuff coming up now, so that is again 
the fault of the banks. So for me, the question is, when does this industry finally understand the way to live, the way to act, the way to run a company is the way I do it? Bankless. Be your own bank. That is what Bitcoin is about. Be your own bank. It's only four words. I am being my own bank already now for six years with my family of five, traveling all over the world, not using the banking system. That is what the revolution should be about. And that is also what every cryptocurrency company should be about. And I know what you're going to say now. Yeah, but we as a crypto company, we also need a bank account because, you know, we need to pay the rent of the buildings that we rent. And we also need to pay uh, our employees and they want to receive dollars because if they don't have dollars, they're not able to buy one of these houses that you can see here in the background because they need to I need to eat. Yes, I know that that is your biggest excuse, but you should be the other way around. You should be, no, okay, I will only rent that real estate that is accepting cryptocurrency. And I will only take those people in my company and employ them if they accept cryptocurrency as a salary. That is how it should work. Not like rolling over like a dog, petting uh, the, the legs in the air, like, okay, 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 I love the banks again. No, it's a revolution against the banks. Stop using those, in my opinion, fucking retarded people that always are the reason for huge crises in our history. And, th and that counts also for the old, normal people. I'm going to turn around because I'm not making a too long video. But the normal people, same way, guys. You all have bank accounts. I know that all you Twitter profiles and all your social media keyboard warriors are pretending to be Bitcoiners. Like, ah, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. But you still have a shitload of money on your bank account because your job is paying you in euros or dollars. You can also just have the job pay in US dollars or euros and then withdraw all the money directly and convert it into crypto and hold it over there. Then you have never the risk of a bank that is bankrupting you. So I know there is many excuses, but for me there's only one way and it's the all-in way in Bitcoin and trying to live a life fully undepending on banks because we have the possibility to be our own bank. Force your employer to pay you in Bitcoin. Just tell him, pay me in Bitcoin. Or use all the tether. Educate him how to do it. Try it. If not, maybe change job. Find a job somewhere in the cryptocurrency industry at a company that is not tied against to the banks because then you will have a shit, shit show again, <laughs> in my opinion. I know it sounds easy and I know I'm talking like a little bit laughy about this uh, and of course I understand all the struggles and the problems that everyone has now and all the crisis and all the inflation and all the terrible life. Guys, all of that shit happened because of those banks and as long you keep supporting them, as long you keep your cash at a bank, they will continue this game. And then people also say to, me, say to me, yeah, but I need to have a house. I need to live somewhere. Do you need to own the house? Do people even realize that all these houses, all these houses are kind of created by the banks? They couldn't give you the money as a loan. They need to put something against that loan. Oh yeah, let's create real estate. And then let's give people a shitload of loans to buy real estate that we own because the people will only own it when they pay all the debts. But so we have real estate and we have loans. And, and then again, we use their money to do fractional reserve because we only need to have 10% at our bank that, you know, that their bank account shows. So if your bank account shows you, I have 10K on the bank account, the bank only needs to have 10% of that. So only 1K. And the rest they can lend out to other banks and those banks have a zero percent policy so they can have all the money on your bank like thousand and then lend it through without having ten percent even on the bank account and i don't understand that people don't see that still don't see that so for me yes these houses are beautiful i will never own that house i will use these houses even if i want to have a house for a longer term i will rent it for a year and then if i'm not staying too long in that house I will sublease it to other people again for shorter periods of time. So make profit on that house. I don't own the house. I didn't invest in the house, but I'm still making profit on the house. My house in Portugal now is being subleased. I'm so I'm renting it to someone else. This time I'm not making profit to be honest because it's a good friend and I gave him a discount. But normally I rent that house out at profit. So yes, I take a yearly contract and I make sure that I'm able to the sub rent the house 
and then I rent the house to someone else in those periods that I'm not there. So I'm even making profit on that house without even owning it. So I'm making profit with the capital that someone else invested in a house, I'm making the profits. And that's how you should work because that's also what the banks are doing. But you should be your own bank. You should take away your capital from the bank and use it to create more capital by being your own bank, by using Bitcoin and all the beautiful blockchain industry that is created to decentralize this world. Because we now have the possibility to take the power back to the people because of these beautiful decentralized tools, Bitcoin, blockchain. Use them. Use them to take control. I think that's very important that people start to understand as long you use their currency, they are in control. The moment you start to use our currency, you are back in control. You know, essentially the solution would be, the perfect solution would be, we now agree worldwide on a certain date to collectively withdraw all our funds from the banks, a huge bank run on a certain date, and put all that money into Bitcoin. That is how you take the power back to the people. And that is how we take control. It also makes me think, do these supposedly crypto companies even really trust cryptocurrency? Do they even think that it's a real revolution that's going to be there forever? Do they believe Bitcoin? Why are they else putting their money in banks? They could also hold all their capital in Bitcoin or in any other stable coin and only use the banks for being a partner to transfer the money into the accounts of those people or those companies that want to receive rent or salary. But you never hold your capital on that bank. Why would you support that? Or are they really afraid that Bitcoin is going to zero or USDT is going to collapse? Because that would be for me the only reason as a crypto company to not have my capital and own control. Not your keys, not your coins. So why would you trust the banks for something knowingly that we started this whole revolution because of those banks to disrupt them it is something that i just can't understand as a real bitcoin now guys i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy the video then give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell leave a comment what do you think about everything i just told you what do you think about svb or dsb in the netherlands what do you think about all those crypto companies still being tied to these banks and using them are they really crypto companies please comment down below give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave that comment because i'm going to answer all those comments because i'm really really curious what your opinion is about all the things that i just talked about in this video thanks for watching see you tomorrow again Bam.